All right, so I've got a 125 gallon mixed reef tank and I am irritated as hell with my flatworms. And I am about to use see it? Uh, Salifert flatworm exit. Uh, flatworms aren't necessarily bad for those of you people that not know about them. Um, but they, they reproduce sexually and asexually. And after a while, they'll build up on the coral, start eating the coral. And if, if you get too many of them in one spot, they could die in a mass quantity and they actually have a, uh, some kind of bodily fluid in them. Uh, it's basically poison for the entire aquarium, for the, for the, for the reef, uh, for the fish and everything. So um, I've decided to use this stuff. And directions read, uh, number one, you siphon out as many flatworms as possible. I've done that. I've spent the past three days or so uh, siphoning out as many flatworms as I can in the sand, uh, on the wall, all over the rocks. Uh, I've done all that. Uh, so I, I can't, right now, I can't visibly see uh, if any kind of flatworms anywhere. I'm sure there's some in there, but uh, I, I, I don't see any. Uh, I've got plenty of fresh activated carbon. I've got a uh, Marine Land 350, which is a canister filter hanging off the back. Um, it's got fresh carbon in it, and then I've got a couple of nylon, uh, I think 4x12 filter bags that I've got fresh carbon in that I'm going to put down in the sump. Uh, so that should take care of that. Uh, and if you have any kind of UV filter, um, or UV sterilizer, you're supposed to turn that off as well. Uh, you're supposed to use four drops per five gallons. So when you do the math, I'm supposed to add uh, 100 drops to this tank. So I'm going to uh, do one cap full, which the instructions say equals 60 drops. So then I'll have to do 40 on top of that. That should treat my tank. Uh, supposed to wait 30 minutes um, to, to see what happens. They're, they're supposed to start dying in 30 minutes. It says that they do not have any effect at all. Within 45 minutes, you're add, supposed to add 50% more, uh, which scares the hell out of me. I don't really think there's any reason to do that. Um, th there's a lot of people that have ho horror stories with, with, with flatworm eggs, and it's, it's not an actual product that'll that'll kill everything or, or make, make anything die. It is, it's, it's, it's the flatworms. They, when they excrete the bodily fluid they have, and that, that'll kill everything. So uh, I've got plenty of fresh water here, plenty of activated carbon. Uh, I'm gonna put this stuff in here and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we got stuff in there. That was uh, a cap full of 60, it says, and then uh, another 40 drops on top of that. So we got 100 drops in there. Uh, we're gonna wait 30 minutes. The time is 7:39. Uh, skimmer's still down there doing the same. According to the instructions, you're supposed to leave that on the entire time. So. So I can start producing some nasty stuff here in a little bit. Um, so we will uh, we'll see what's going on here and see what these guys do, and uh, we'll check back here in a little bit. All right, so I don't know how well uh, you guys are going to be able to see this. We are only about 10 minutes in right now, and every time I've seen these, you can't see shit. Every time I've seen these flatworms, they uh, they're usually very stagnant. They don't move around at all. It looks like there's some coming out of the out of sand and uh, these guys are rolling like they're definitely trying to get away from whatever the hell is is in the water uh, which is probably gonna be pretty unsuccessful for them. Uh, so anyway I'm gonna take the siphon and get these guys out of here and uh, man, I wish you could see this these guys are moving you kind of see one right there in the white of the snail All right, so we are at uh, 752 right now and uh, there's all kinds of them coming out of the coming out of the sand, and they're all floating around the tank. I guess where they're beginning to die. So uh, I'm gonna try to keep siphoning these guys out of here. Um, I'm about to start up the the carbon filter right now. So as soon as the flatworms start to die, commence with the activated carbon to take out any toxic bodily fluids. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, so it is uh, 8.07, we're about 30 minutes in, and uh, these things are dropping like flies. They're flying all over the place. Uh, I've got a bucket set up there with a, uh, a small piece of, of vinyl tubing, and then it's actually connected to um, a little small piece of PVC. So I'm almost kind of like Mr. Miyagi and uh, <laughs> the flatworms out of there and catch them just going right into the bucket. And I got plenty of water here, so. Uh, I don't really see any, any of the corals not really affected yet. Everything's out and everything seems fine. Fish seem fine. So, um, I'll give you an update. Probably like the hour mark. See what's going on. 
All right, so it's uh, 8.39, we're exactly an hour in. Uh, I'm kind of going back and forth between doing this and uh, my girl made some food, that rocks. Um, there she is, right? <laughs> right there. <laughs> um, all of the uh, all of the coral seems to be fine. I've got a, a pink uh, long plate tentacle coral that got a little bit upset and it's back to normal now. It kind of puffed out a little bit. Now it seems fine. Uh, my trumpet corals, uh, for some reason, thought it was time to eat. They were kind of putting out their tentacles. I've been uh, siphoning out water. I've done probably right at 25% now, I guess, maybe 20%. Um, and it, it's hard to tell if, if the coral and if the coral is reacting to all the new water or if, if it's from the uh, flatworm exit. Uh, I don't see any flatworms floating around now. Um, maybe they all got caught by my siphon or they're somewhere. Uh, but everything seems fine. My cold tang is, is a little bit discolored. He's a little bit light. Yellow tang's fine. Hippo's fine. Uh, clowns are fine. Blue chromas are fine. Uh, everything seems uh, everything seems fine. I've got three rose sip anemones. All those seem fine. Uh, frog spawn seems fine. Everything seems fine. So uh, I think it's gonna be all right. I'm, I'm gonna give you people an update. Uh, I guess tomorrow, maybe later tonight, let you know what's going on. Everything is. Um, this seems to be. Uh, I mean, it seems to give the, the pretty good treatment. I mean, I guess as long as you follow the directions like it says and not just dump the stuff in your tank like an idiot. So, um, I'll check back a couple hours. I say you're supposed to monitor your tank for about six hours after this, so, uh, that's going to suck. And, uh, we'll get to that. And I'll check back in a little bit. Alright, so the time is 9.52, a little bit more than two hours into this. And, um,. I think it seems to be okay. Uh, I don't really see any flatworms anywhere. I don't see them uh, going around the tank or anything like that at the bottom. Or it seemed like a lot of them kind of died and went uh, just kind of to the bottom of the bottom of the sand bed. And I siphoned them out. And everything seems all right. Um, my uh, maxima clam is is retracted. And um, hippo's good, yellow's good, and um, I've got a cold thing as well. He looks the same. He's discolored a little bit. He's uh, his coat is, is a little bit uh, wider than what it used to be, but um, I don't know if that's just from all the new water or activity or or from the product or what. I don't know, but. Changed out all the water and everything. Uh, for the most part, everything seems fine, man. Um, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really worried about it at all. Um, some of my some of my zoas are closed up, and um, this colony of green star polyps uh, that I got from Daryl actually um, is fully open. These up here are somewhat open, closed, and I've got some starburst that's closed up. Well, that one is. This one over here isn't. Uh, this one, I, I kind of did that myself. I figured it'd be out by now, but I guess not. Uh, so, I'm going to keep monitoring it throughout the night and uh, do an update, maybe like a three or four hour mark, something like that. And um, I guess that is about it for now. All right, so we are about uh, four and a half hours in, uh, something like that. Uh, everything's getting back to normal. Uh, Maxima Clam is, uh, is coming back out. Uh, Duncan is, is looking pretty good. There's still a few on the right that haven't come out yet, but it's looking nice. Uh, my brain coral here was, uh, you can still kind of see it. It was, um, it's kind of shriveled up at the bottom and it looks good on the top. Um, overall, uh, everything, everything looks great. Fish are good. Colors back on the cold tang. Um, he looks fine. I think he was just freaked out because there was so much going on earlier. Uh, Torch looks nice. Um, Dursas look nice. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna check in with it tomorrow and check and see if I see any flatworms whenever the highlights come back on. Um, and so far, man, everything, everything looks great. Um, 
tentacle core looks good. I think that's cool. So uh, I guess that's my experience with flatware makes it. So follow the follow the instructions, people, <laughs> and you won't have any problems. And I will uh, I'll give you a little update in another video tomorrow.